In Photoshop, undo and redo work a little bit differently than in other programs you may be used to. For example, I'm going to draw some lines to demonstrate how undo works. I select my brush tool and I'm going to simply draw a couple of lines. Now when I draw this line, if I make a mistake and I want to go back, I've drawn two lines here. I go up to edit and I can go undo brush tool or I can press control Z on the keyboard and that undoes my last drawing or gets rid of that line. Now if I want to undo this other line that I've drawn as well, if I go again up to edit, it now says redo brush tool and it still says control Z, which if I click on that, it redoes the last step that I've just done. So if I press control Z, this is going to disappear, but if I press control Z again, it's going to reappear. What Photoshop does is it likes to refer to your actions as steps. Thus, it wants you to step backwards or step forwards in the process that you, you are creating your, your work of art. So if I go up to edit, instead of going undo brush tool, I go down to step backwards, which is alt, control, and Z on the keyboard. It does the same thing as undo, but if I do the same thing again, edit, step backwards, or alt, control, Z on the keyboard, it then takes me one step further. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out a couple more lines here. In fact, I want to count how many lines that I'm drawing. So let's say that I am doing a big project and I'm doing a lot of work on this project. And so right now I've performed about 15 actions. And so I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. So I've done 23 different things. I can come up here and I can go up to edit, step backwards, or I could press control, alt, and Z on the keyboard and it will step backwards and it will take me back where I have gone. And now I keep pressing it and nothing happens. It is keeping these four lines that I've drawn here. I can redo everything if I go up to edit, step forward, or shift control Z. Shift control and Z. I'm going to bring all the lines back. So I have these different lines that I've created. If I want to see all of these things that I've done, I can go up to Window, go down to History, and it's going to show me a history of the steps that I have created. By default, Photoshop stores in its history the last 20 items or the 20 steps that we have done. I can go up on this list and it will take me back to those steps or I could go further down. Now, I feel that I'm kind of limited by having only 20 steps recorded in the memory for me to go back and, and get. If I wanted to go all the way to the beginning, I can see that I still have a couple of strokes there. Now one thing, I can click here and this will take me all the way to the beginning, but maybe I want to go somewhere in between. Let me come back and click here. If I want to add the number of states or the number of steps it allows me to remember or that the computer remembers for me, I can go up to Edit, down to Preferences, which is at the very bottom of this menu, and then I'm going to click on General. This has a lot of the different setups and options that you have inside of Photoshop. Now what I want to do is I want to click on Performance. There's a lot of options here, like how much memory your computer is using, but what I want to do is change my history states, and I'm going to change this up to 1,000. What this will allow me to do is have 1,000 steps stored here so that I can continue to go backward more than 20 steps. So now if I were to draw a lot of lines, it will allow me to go back a lot further than just 20 states. You can see this keeps going back further and further and I can go back pretty far. Now let's say that you do want to go back to the last time you saved it. You can either click up here or you can also go up to File, Revert, and this will clear everything or go back to the last time you saved your document. So if I click Revert, I can see the last time I saved it, it was just an empty document like this. And now just to test to make sure that my history lets me do more than 20, I'm going to demonstrate here that I can do more than 20 steps or brush strokes and it will allow me to go back and this would work up to 1000. And so now you can see I can go all the way back up and erase my history steps 
inside of Photoshop. So hopefully this helps you in knowing how to undo, step backwards, or change the amount of states of history that Photoshop saves for you.